In the days before his death, Jesus spent his time, not with the religious, but with those outside the lines, with those who were rejected, with those without a place. They were the most hungry for a loving, holy space. While they were gathered round a table, sharing stories, food and wine, there came an interruption that was wholly unrefined. An alabaster jar, a woman seen as muck, entered a room of whispers and disapproving looks. The gift she carried with her was expensive inside out, and yet without hesitation, she broke it and poured it out. For her, Jesus was love, giving her life to the full. And yet it was his followers that found this difficult. But to them he gave a lesson that we all need to know. That in who we are and what we've done, we are seen and we are known. To the banker who is lonely. To the parent who's run down. To the child who feels forgotten. Jesus sees and hears you now. To the homeless one who's hungry. To the anxious teenage soul. To the pensioner feeling trapped within their very home, to our global majority, our trans, our disabled and working class, to those forgotten on the margins, to the lost least and the last, to those who feel unheard, to our queer and labelled bad, Jesus sees you with his love and provides a safe place to land. So followers, put away your notebooks, your theories and diagrams, because we should breathe both love and life, not hate, judge or condemn. But to all of you, beloved, flawed and beautiful, Jesus sees every one of you. And that's all you need to know.